hello everybody welcome to my channel i'm just gonna get right into the recap because i'll be spending so much time on these recaps and you know what i'm not wasting my time today so let's just get on into it okay um chloe first of all there's one more day before decision day thank god because ain't nobody got time to be waiting another week okay and i can't wait to be done reviewing the show just to let y'all know i ain't never reviewing the show again chloe's sitting here with her friend cesar and she's basically talking about her doubts about the marriage and cesar asks her if she thinks that Michael would say yes on decision day and she actually says no. And then Chloe has the damn good gall to say, oh, I can't imagine my life without Michael. Chloe, girl, we are so tired of your mother freaking fed lines from production. I'm over it, I'm over you, I'm over this season. Anyway, let's go to the next thing because I'm over it. I'm really not sure if my TV was playing in that last clip, but I'm really sorry if it is, I'm being, um, I'm just gonna do as, as least editing as I possibly can, so I'm not redoing that, okay? But um, it will be quiet from this point on, okay? Why are we still seeing people that chose to divorce in our scenes? I'm not recapping that, okay? They having one more last hee-haw, yitty all whatever the hell y'all wanna call it, as a group. One last together, all together, and I don't give a damn. I don't give a good damn. I really don't. Happy Easter, by the way, okay? I don't care. So I'm moving on to the next scene. I'm not spending a lot of time on this video. Okay, so apparently this is not just the men, all men and all women. This is all of them together. Mm, I don't care again. I still don't care. Bye. But yeah, I'm so glad they put this um, get together in the beginning of the show because then I can just breeze through the rest of the freaking um, recap. Lovely. Um, this is so fake and so phony. Since when are we doing this, producers? When are we, since when are we after decision day and people aren't married anymore? when are we making them get together and celebrate like they are family i ain't, i don't feel like singing we are family right now okay i really don't i really freaking don't i don't see brendan at this get together or am i early do y'all see brendan i don't know go rewind and tell me if you see brendan because i don't see his behind there and trust me i'm not sad about it i don't like that fool i really don't care what these people are talking about i know y'all guys came for a recap but i told you already i wasn't even going to be recapping anybody that was divorced so you got a little more than you should have okay okay because i'm over it Anyway, as you can see on Lauren's face, Orion is talking. <laughs> First of all, she gonna get mad at him and was like, every time I try to be friends with you, you say you want to be friends. And then, you know, you know, you don't act like you do. You don't be trying. And you know what, Lauren? Girl, I gave you so much mercy for so many weeks, but you the dummy. You the dummy that keep giving him chance after chance after chance to be your damn friend. Talking about y'all going on some skating thing. Talking about y'all sitting over there talking about can we replenish, replenish or I forgot the word. Anyway, I'm putting it in the comment section because girl, I forgot. Anyway, you still mad? Girl, when he called off the marriage after that situation should have been when it was done. You kept giving this fool chance after chance after chance. And there's having mercy and then there's being dumb. And girl, you are the latter right now. So I don't have no feelings for you. I don't feel bad that you're mad that he wasn't trying. When someone gives you their behind to kiss, why are you going to stand there and keep kissing it? You stick your foot out and you kick it. That's what you do. Okay. So girl, I am not bothered. I don't even know why you're bothered with this fool because he is a fool. He's made his foolishness very well known. And every time I get on this recap, I'm seeing you relent and say, okay, we can be friends. Girl, if I had your facial features, if I had your boobs, because I don't have those. If I had your hair, okay, I do have hair. Uh, I don't be doing the styles like you do. You be hooking it up. I feel like you be doing your own hair because your hair be looking nice, girl. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, you need to have a YouTube channel, I'm Lauren. I'm just telling you right now. I don't, you probably don't watch my little channel, but I'm just saying. Anyway, I've talked too much. I'm over this. I'm bypassing it. I'm not talking no more about this. Okay, bye. And I promise y'all, they spent a good 15 to 20 minutes with that group yapping. And majority of that time was Lauren and freaking Orion. So please, you're welcome. All right. Anyway, in the next scene, Michael is here with his friend, Sam, and he's talking about the pending decision day. And you know, Michael, I don't dislike you. I like that you have a flair. I like that you have a fashion style that most people can't get with. Cause you know, I'm very much like you. Whatever the crowd likes is probably I'm not gonna like. And you know, I try to go against the grain cause I don't like being a follow fashion. You know what I'm saying? But um, I've noticed that, you know, you're, you're hopeful. I can't wait to be married. Yeah, okay, now you're married and it's a different story. Let me tell you something. The grass is always green on the other side. You be thinking, you be thinking that you won't go on the other side and it's gonna be a, a land of milk and honey and it be just dry on the other side, okay? 
So he's talking to his friend about his doubts and he really doesn't know what's going to happen on decision day. I do though. Would you like to hear it? I don't have to tell you guys. You already know what's going to happen on decision day. I don't have to tell you that he's going to say no. He ain't even want her to meet his mama. And that's a big red flag. After Chloe's conversation with her friend Cesar, she realizes how much she cares about Michael. She gets him a charcuterie board. Charcuterie board. Charcuterie board. How do you pronounce that word? Hold on a minute. So Chloe made one of those boards. Chloe wants to get to the bottom of how Michael is feeling. He, he's feeling anxious and he celebrated being single for so long. Um, but you also, you know, you wanted to be married so bad. And like I said, the grass is always greener. If this not the corniest season I've ever seen in my life. I think Michael thought that she was going to say that she loved him. <laughs> she was like, I think we're very good together. She's like, I've been, we've been through a lot together. You have? Because y'all haven't even been together that long. Please give me a break with these scripted lines. Child, I'm over this crap. Can we just get to decision day, please? We already know what's going to happen. I do not care about these people. If, if I don't know if you can tell in my review, but I don't care about these people. So for some odd freaking reason, I really do not know why. These ex-wives have agreed to do a photo shoot, but ass naked, almost. Damn near. Damn near. <sighs> I'm, I'm, I'm literally about to make this the last time I watch Married at First Sight in America. I might start Australia because America, y'all ain't getting it right and I'm over it. YouTube, I swear to God, I'm not going to show nothing I'm not supposed to. Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this right now? If y'all want to see all the other women, feel free. But Tracy, your girl, is by passing. Bye-bye. Um, as they've done with the other couples that were about to have decision day, they split them up and they let them spend the night by themselves to reunite the next day in order to give the decision. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And I am super glad that we are on decision day. I, I should just sing a bunch of gospel songs right now. I really should. We worship you. <laughs> um, I recall doing that song on one of my videos. Put in comment section, remember which one. Okay. Anyway. We are finally on decision day. I couldn't be more happy. I just want to cry tears of joy. Melodies from heaven rain down on me. Rain down on me. I'm so serious. I feel like giving God all the praise right now because I am so sick and tired of this season. And OMG, we are on decision day for the last couple. And I don't know what to do with myself. Okay, so it's decision day. She got on this glamorous dress with these big, big glamorous earrings. And y'all couldn't do her nails because I noticed they look raggedy. And here we are with the expert. They've had us watching this show since freaking winter time all the way up to spring, which is utterly ridiculous. re damn ridiculous. I swear, I hope the next season is not 50 episodes long. This is damn near 50 episodes long, y'all, okay? You know how they are, talking about the couple, blah, blah, blah. Bring them out here and let's get the decision because I ain't got all day. So Dr. Pepper was saying how ready Michael seemed to be and now he's not ready now. Wonder what it was that made him that way. Actually being it. Because, you know, you always want something you think you want it. Then when you get it, you're like, wait a minute. I don't know if I want this anymore. The same crap they were saying last week is the same crap they're saying this week. I'm not going to go through each one. I told you already, I'm not spending a lot of time on this recap because honestly, a part of it is because I spent so much time on these reviews. I really spent a lot of freaking time. And in the end, I'm just like, maybe y'all didn't want all of that. So yeah, this week, uh, this Easter Sunday, I'm not doing all that. But anyway, let's just get to the point and say who said what, what decision did they make? Let's go into the decisions. The time has come. You will decide if you want to stay married or get a divorce. And I think I want to see if we have more story to tell. And even though I, I'm choosing divorce, I hope you understand that that, in, that doesn't change anything that I said about you. And even though I don't want to be married to you anymore and I have no future, I see no future with you. I don't want you to think that that changes anything I said about you in the past. <laughs> anyway, I'm done with this. So guys, I may or may not do the recap for the reunion. Depends on how I feel. Depends on how many views this video gets because if nobody's watching, I'm not going to waste my time to be frankly honest with you. I did make a new channel called Riffs and Reviews where I'm going to just be posting all kinds of random reviews and movies over there, but that will be strictly reviews and movies unlike here. On Sincerely Tracy, I do whatever I want. So if I want to do true crime, if I want to do just kicking, if I want to do a recap, I do it over here. But I'm thinking maybe I need to 
dedicated channel just strictly for reviews and I'm going to be doing it on riffs and reviews. Doesn't mean you have to leave here. Doesn't mean I'm changing over here how I do stuff. You can stay on this channel if you like, but this channel to me is not getting a lot of, it's not really getting a lot of activity. So maybe I need to start over. And I'm always going to start over as y'all know. So yeah, that's all. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching my channel. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.